Okay, so we'll get warmed up and then we'll see what happens today, yeah? Pop our feet together, please. Turn the toes out and take the heels in line. Second and third toe, tracks with the knees and with the hips. We'll pull that middle in nice and tight and relax our shoulders up, back and down. So we've got a nice, tall, long, standing posture. Yeah, we've got the weight evenly distributed and we are now good to go, yeah? Let me just knock this down a notch. I feel like I'm shouting. There we go. Okay, so start me off with some arms and your head. So drop the head down and really arch the back up. And then lift up and open the chest. So you want to drop down and arch up. And then lift up and open up. So let that head move. Let those arms move, those shoulders move. Get that chest opening and get that upper back rounding up. Last one. And now just bring it into a little arm lift. So bring your arms in front to shoulder height, open out wide, and just relax down. So forward, open, and relax. So easy starting, yeah? So lots of different ways of moving for us to get that mobility all the way through the body. Now can you keep your arms up please? And just go into a small twist, side to side. It's your twist everybody, so you can go as big or as little as it needs to go for you. I want you to keep the arms up, really set the shoulders up back and down now, and take your left arm up towards your right, get a little bit of a side bend, and then come back to centre and change. So we're trying to bring the arms over towards each other, yeah? And you're getting that little bit of a side bend. We're keeping the arms up in the air, so we're getting that little bit of warmth through that upper body. arms just lift up to the top and relax back down. Back up and down. So probably those shoulders are feeling a bit warm now aren't they? Yeah hopefully yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna relax the arms back down now. So come on down and then just go into a little bit of a twist side to side. People are rubbing their arms already, what's going on? <laughs> okay, so from here then, let's just relax into the upper body and we'll take an alternate step back. So I just want you to take one foot at a time and step back long and make sure you put your foot flat to the floor for me, yeah? So you've got that. And now I want us to focus on this step, but add a twist. So your eyes follow your fingers, and you're in line with shoulders. Now you're still tapping back, you're still twisting, but take it lower. center. Start to pedal the feet. Yep, one and then the other. So a little lift through the heel with the opposite heel pushing down to the floor. So we'll keep that going and then I want us to start thinking about using the legs with this a bit now. So just start to introduce a very small squat. So as that heel goes to the floor you sit your hips and bum back a bit, yeah? You got that? You see they're sitting back. Then We'll start to use the arms, and then we can just sit a little bit further back. So the knees are pushing forward, and you should be able to feel that little switch on in the front of the legs, as well as the back of the legs, and then towards your bum, into that glute. We're just enjoying the down and up momentum of it, yeah? OK. 
Okay, from here, right leg brush, forward and back. Just let it brush forward and back. So, the supporting knee is soft, and this leg is just going where you can get it to go. Keep it straight, yeah? Make it a half circle. So it comes front and back. Front and back. Hold on to that balance. If you need to take your arms wherever you need to take them, whatever helps you, that's fine, you know that, yeah? Now from here, we'll just change leg and brush forward and back, please. So again, just settle into the leg, just get used to it. And again, just get moving. Now half circle, please. the movement. Hopefully we're feeling a bit warmer now. Let's bring it back into centre position everyone. Okay and we'll just go into a little bit of a leg combination. So I'm going to get us to do a forward lunge, a side lunge and a reverse lunge. So just make sure you've got some room to step forward and back for me yeah. Okay we got that. Now let's start with the hands at the hips first. So you're going to lunge forward to the side and then to the back. Now change leg. So long step every time, drop the back knee, step wide to the side, bend that supporting knee, hips and bum back and then step and drop your back knee. Change legs. So we could start to, we could use a bit of an arm with it, yeah, with the forward and back lunge. It helps sometimes with that little bit of standing. And again, so you don't have to go too deep because you're just warming up, yeah? Just feeling that initial switch on, a bit of a stretch. We'll do it one more time on each leg, please. So from here now, come back to centre position, but if you haven't already got your mat in front of you, can you put your mat in front of you please? Get ready to walk out onto the hands, yeah? Okay? So, tall position, relax the head and shoulders and tip forward into a roll down stretch. So you come down as far down as you go, yeah? So hands are either touching or towards the floor, the head is tucked in, and the body weight is pushed in front. So we can feel our hamstrings, we've got the head tucked in, we can feel the back stretching. Now walk your hands forward and come forward into a plank and lock your middle tight. Bum down, we can drop to knees remember if we need to, that's fine. Okay, set the shoulders away, lock the middle. Now drop to knees sit back to a child's pose. Tuck the, keep the toes tucked, I want you to lift to a down dog stretch. Heels push down, walk back to your feet and slowly roll back up to standing. So we're going to try that again, yeah? So from the beginning, take a deep breath in, little bend there. Yeah, sorry, drop the head, roll down. What am I saying? <laughs> so roll down, head tucked again, keep everything close together and tucked in. Really find that stretch and walk forward to a plank. Hands are under, shoulders are set, middle is tight, bum down. Drop to the knees, sit back to child's pose, head down. Long stretch through. Tuck the 
Keep the toes tucked. Push up to your down dog. Heels go as far back as you can get them. Legs straight, head down. Walk back to your feet. Roll back up. Reset at the top, roll the shoulders. Head back down, let's go again. Down you come. Softly bend is fine. So kid. We're gonna add something on this time with the legs. So walk forward. Come to the plank. Hands are under shoulders. Now walk the legs a bit further so the knees are under the hips, hovering off the floor. Yeah, see so your legs are bent. You got that? Now straighten the legs up to the top and then bring them back down to that position. So you've got your back tabletop again, knees bent. Push back up and then bend your knees. Push back up and bend your knees. Stay here in that bent leg. Back is still straight, with this tight, drop to the knees, sit back to stretch. Tuck the toes, lift up to stretch. Walk back to your feet. Standing. At the top. Reset. Ready to go again. Drop the head. Come back down. Get tucked in. Walk to plank. Bums down, middles tight. Walk the knees under the hips. Legs like bent, keep the knees off the floor, middle tight. Yeah, you got it. Push up and back down. Using the legs, yeah? Back up and down. Just the legs are moving, yeah? Don't let your head move. Don't let your arms move. Just your legs. Stay here in the bent leg position. Drop to the knees, sit back to child's pose. Down dog. Head drops. Walk back to feet. And roll up to standing. Just remember before I take you back down, when we're in that bent leg, guys, keep the hands, the arms completely still. I'm only getting you to move your legs. You just bend and straight your legs. Don't be pushing and rocking. Just your legs. Just your legs. Legs, just legs, 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 legs. Come on. <laughs> what were that? Legs. <laughs> Head tucked. Push forward. Walk to your plank. Hands under shoulders, shoulders are set, middle tight. Walk the knees under the hips. And off we go. Push up and down. Nothing's moving except what? Eggs. <laughs> Just going to do a few extra reps this time as we finish it off. We've got four more. Three. Two. Now hold the last one. Drop to your knees and now just relax back. Nice work, everybody. Good job. So, have a little shake off, get a drink. We're gonna stay on the floor now, so you might need to adjust your cameras and whatnot. So get uh, those few jobs done now for me, please. Thank you to you, please. And then we're turning over onto the back, okay. Right, so, I'm gonna bring a big focus around the hip and glute to start with, on the back, yeah? 
So, heels towards your bum, and you want your feet hip width apart. Yep. Now, push the back down nice and flat. Pull your middle in nice and tight for me. And relax your arms by your side. I want you to take your right leg up to the ceiling. Now, keep the middle tight. Lower the leg down as an extension. Then circle it outwards and back up to the top. And again, drop down, circle around and back to the top. So keep going with this. Make a note right now how it feels. Is it stiff? Is it clicky? Is it tight? You know, whatever's going on, make a note of it. And then I want you to change direction. And again, this is you're still working, you're working a little bit through that centre in the core, yes? Yeah? So there's no arching in the back still. That middle is nice and tight, the body's just staying still, it's just that leg that moves. Okay, so we've made a note of how it feels. Let's now place that right ankle onto our left knee and grab our right hand to that right knee and push it away from us. Now, just push it as far as you can, trying to keep that straight line with the knee, the shin and the ankle. And as we're pushing out, we'll feel a little relief around the hip joint and a bit of a relief around the glute. So what I'm going to get you to do now, we're going to use that left heel. So make sure that left heel is still in towards your bum. I'm going to go into a single leg bridge. And you can either keep your hand here, pushing it out as we're going up and down. Or use the power of the brain, send that message to keep it pushed out and relax your arms down. It's up to you, whatever helps you, I'll play around, yeah? So you're ready. Push through that heel, lift that bum, roll up the spine to your bridge and push out that knee still, yeah? And back down. And again, push up and down. So middle tight, hips up to the ceiling, lift up and back down. Yep, we got it. Up and down. So if you need to keep the hand there, keep the hand there. I want you to feel that stretch around that hip joint and a little bit in your glute. So feel the push. Go against that resistance, yeah? This is giving it that stretch. So get ready now to change direction with it. I want you to lift the foot off the floor and pull it in towards you. So again, you might need to put your hand there to push against it as it comes in. You're using the middle. Yeah, and you're just pulling it in as far as you can so you can feel us more stretching to your backside now. Yeah. So hopefully everyone's getting that bit of a stretch. They can feel that bit of resistance towards it. Now, hold this next one up in the air. So we've all got right ankle, left knee, yeah? Keep your arms out wide, super glued to the floor. Drop your leg over to the left, so that right foot goes flat to the floor and that right knee is stuck up in the air. Take the left hand to it and push it away from you. And turn your head, look down your right arm. So you feel that bit more stretch kicking in now, coming up towards that corner of your lower back too. Keep that knee pushed right out and high. Nobody's knees should be on top of each other. This knee should be up in the air, guys. It should still be crossed. The leg position has not changed. Some of you have changed your leg position. No, please don't. Keep it as it was. So you put your arm back to the floor and you lift up to centre and it's just how it was before, yeah? Excellent, good, we got it, yes. Now relax the foot down, uncross the leg, arms back by your side, lift the leg to ceiling, middle tight, bum back flat, yeah? Let's see how that feels now, let's circle, drop down and open around. Oh, so much better, isn't it? Yeah? Just by, even if it's only a smidge, 
it will feel that little bit more eased off and stretched out. Does anybody agree? You're welcome. Other way. And all we did was 16 repetitions each of that and a little stretch. So if this is a problem area for you, this is something that you could do every day. Just those few repetitions, a couple of minutes on each side. Right then. So I'm gonna leave the other side until probably May, June time. That's all right, isn't it, yeah? So relax the leg down, put the foot to the floor now. Nice work, everyone. Let's get that same feeling going on the other leg now. So heels back in towards your bum, feet hip width apart to start with. Take that other leg up to the ceiling. Push the back back down, middle tight, and let's find our circle. So again, just find your circle around. This could be your special side, you know, because we've always got that one side better than the other. And then change direction. And again, we're just making note of how it feels, remember, at this early stage. So let's bring that ankle onto me and then take that hand to it and push it away from us and just hold it for a short time. So we're feeling that little light relief around that hip joint again and that little stretching towards your glute. that right heels in towards your bum now, either keep the hand there or by your side. Let's go up and down into the bridge. Push up and back down. So again, if you need to put the hand there, put the hand at it to resist it, to help, or send that message. So we're getting some nice single leg strength work as well as getting that stretch work on the opposite side. Let's start to lift the foot and bring it in and push it back out. Bring the leg in and push it out. So the hand is there if we need it. So we really want to find that more stretch now in that glute, yeah? to the right so that left foot was flat to the floor yep both arms super glued still get that comfortable leg yep nothing's changed remember take that right hand now and push the knee out away keep pushing on it see so it's feeling that relief around that hip yep Down 
and control them back up to centre. The legs, yeah? yeah? Right, put that foot down for me and cross the leg, lift it high, push back flat, middle tight. Let's see if this has worked. Drop down and circle. Ah, oh, look at that. See, if I was to ask you to now, I bet we could all wrap his leg right back of his head, couldn't we? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to go. <laughs> So everyone should have the same benefit this side as what they got last side. Good, good, good. Change direction. And relax it down. Give yourself a little hug with both legs. Hug it in, relax it off side to side. Lovely. Right. Let's turn over onto our front. So grab your legs, turn yourself around, please. Now, the back has just been working while we were doing the bridge. Of course, we know the glutes have worked, yeah, and the hamstrings a little. So let's just go into a little back section and do the back of the body. And then we can bring some center abs in, some more abs. So come on down everyone, and frame your face with your hands, yeah, relax your shoulders up back and down, feet together, squeeze your bum tight, now take a deep breath in, lift your chin and chest up, a little back extension, and then breathe out and keep it, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> breathe out and relax it down, <laughs> so lift up, breathe in, breathe out, lower down. So squeeze in bum tight, shoulders are relaxed, not going to get neck ache, and we're just lifting as high as we individually can, till we can feel that stretch happening in the lower back, those muscles engaging. Take the hands to the face and start to lift the chin, chest, and there's hands and arms are moving as well. Well, the hands are staying in the face, yeah, but you know what I mean now. So it's a lift and a lower. The feet are still together, everybody, and we're still squeezing that bum super tight, yeah? we can really engage those glute muscles which will allow us to get into those lower back muscles yeah up and down nice one so let's bring in some direction now so hold your next one up twist to the left come back to the center and lower down please and then do the same on the right so lift Twist, centre, and lower down. Breathe it in, breathe it out, breathe it in, breathe it out. So again, you've got your shoulders set back, not getting hunched up there, we're going to get neck ache. I want us to focus on really how this is feeling in the body now. How that lower back is connected. You can feel it working a bit more as you twist. And you've got that little bit of tension in between your legs. Just focusing on keeping that upper back working and engaged to keep us in position as we lift and twist. We can start to take now an alternate hand and arm away from the face as we twist. So we take a big reach, come back in and lower down. So now focus on getting a bit more twist through your upper body. Eyes follow fingers, centre and down. Yeah. So lift, twist, centre and down. So yeah, that little bit of a reach now is just giving us that little bit more twist 
Yeah, a nice little bit more resistance there. Everyone's still breathing. That's, we've not forgot that, have we? No, no, we still, yeah, okay. And then if we would like to, which I know you would, we can start moving the legs. And your opposite leg just stays high in the air. As you lift up, you take your twist, you back to centre, and you lower it down. So you lift, and you twist, you centre and you down. Now we're lifting that leg, there's a little bit more challenge hopefully kicking in. So you want to feel a little tickle up the hamstring, which then will bring a little bit more resistance into the glute, which will make that lower back engage more. Okay, let's do it one more time on each side, everyone. And then relax it down. Well done. Okay. Now, before we sit up and take back and have a little stretch, let's do a little bit of a stretch sequence while I've got you here. So, take the hands above the bottom. Yeah. And then bring your hands to clasp together. Yeah. Then just take them away, straighten them off, get a little squeeze at your blade, set your shoulders back and down. And then if you can, give me a little chin and chest lift. Take the arms away, hands away from the bottom. And just stay there, yeah? Keep squeezing that bum a little bit. Because you've got a little bit of a back extension again. If you want to lift the legs, you can. Take your arms away. And again, just focus on really lengthening now. Point the fingers, the toes, the legs, the arms, the squeezing of the blades. Big stretch release. Relax, well done. Right, let's sit up to a child's pose, everyone. And again, hopefully as we sit back, we'll just feel that There'll be a little bit of tightness, a little bit of tension. Let's just have a little reset here. Lovely. Turn yourself around. Onto your back for me, yeah? Alright. So. Let's get centered first in the middle. So push the back down nice and flat and pull the middle in super tight. Yeah. Now from here, lift your knees to your hips and you can have your hands by your side or you can bring your hands towards the top of your bottom, bottom of your back. Okay, so middle is tight. Just start me off with a toe tap, alternate leg. Tapping the floor. Just gonna start moving around that hip, lower ab area. And then you could make it a straight leg extension in front and back. Then change leg. Just one leg at a time, yeah? Nice long leg, back push down nice and flat. Now 
keep that going. And if you want, you can take the opposite arm behind you to whatever leg is extending out. Now that'll mean you're taking your hands away from the top of your bum bottom of your back. So if it's not for you after a few reps, then obviously put your hands back for me. But if we're all pushing down and really pulling in tight through that center, we should be just fine. Now, hold this next one out. Now let that leg lift all the way up as high as you can get it. Lower it back down and bring it back in with the arm. Change, extend, lift, lower and back in. Yep, extend, lift, lower and back in. So a little bit more control around the middle, a little bit of a direction change up here. Now, if it isn't for you, that's okay. Because what you could do instead is as you straighten the leg, you just bring it back in and then you take it back out to reset, yeah? Okay? And then we could start to move the arm up at the same time as the leg. So you extend out, arm up, arm down, back in. You could even add a little crunch to it, so the head and shoulders lift. Keep that chin in, yeah? You could do both arms and just keep it as a single leg. Again, with or without the crunch. And the hips are probably feeling a lot, yeah, there's been a lot happening around that lower abdominal area. So have a quick reset. Let's make a note of where we are at the minute. We've got that double or single arm. We've got the crunch. We've got the single leg, but how about, now we've had this reset and we're back in focus, shall we do both arms and both legs and have everything together? Yes, I think we should as well, yes. So knees back up, are you ready? Arms by your side, middle tight, let's see what happens. Extend everything out. Lift up, back down, and back in. Do that again. Extend everything out, lift up, back down, back in. Now, the legs, we don't have to go low on the way out. So we could take them out onto a little bit of a 45. Yeah? And then back to a 45. That's okay, if we need that, yeah? It's just all about keeping that build going. And you've done 30 seconds, just about. I'm gonna keep you going for another 30, okay? So take as much time as you need. And there we go. Well done everyone. Give yourself a little relax. A quick reset here. Nice work. Well done. Okay, relax the feet down. Just take a nice long stretch out for me. Right, we're just going to do one quick round on each side of side planks with a little twist rotation. So just turn onto your side for me. 
So put the elbow under the shoulder. You can bend your bottom leg by all means, or have both legs straight, yeah? We're only gonna rotate the upper half of the body, okay? So, elbow under shoulder. Bend bottom leg or both legs straight. Lift the hips off the mat and find this center side plank, yeah? Keep on mind that. And all you do, if you just watch the first one with me, is keep open here, but the upper body is just gonna come down and up. Let's go. So come down and back up. So rotate under. Now press some forearm into the ground as well. You've got your middle nice and tight and just breathe and control the move. It's just a minute on each side and then we're stretching to reward the body for a job well done there. job let's change sides see it's not very sharp it's just a very quick tickle isn't it yeah, yeah. <laughs> bottom leg bent if needed one minute on the clock Are you ready three two one we know where we need to go let's do it grab that rotation reach back up Just that upper body. Feet are still, hips are high. That's it. Make sure the hips are not dropping, everyone. Stay lifted in the air for me. You're just over halfway. Stop. Great job. Well done. <sighs> Sit yourself up. Have a little relaxed cross leg. Well done, everyone. So, let's go into some stretching now. So, if you can take just this relaxed cross leg, don't be too tight, yeah? With the tightness in the legs. Put the right hand to the ground. Left arm now is going to take a stretch over. So, keep the arm towards your ear. Just stretch your body across. Now, if you want to drop your elbow down, you can. Try and increase the range. Don't worry if that knee pops up a bit. That's all right. And then we sit up, keep hold of this arm though. Swing it in front, get a little shoulder release. Pull on it tight, but then twist to the side as well with it. Get that little bit of a twist to the side, you look all the way over, you just feel that little bit more stretching to your shoulder, and then let that arm just drop down past your leg, put the free hand behind you, and focus on a little bit more of an unwind through your spine. Bring it back in, lovely. Right, let's see how that other side does. Hand first, please. I'm up. Yeah, bend it a little bit. Arm towards your ear. And find that stretch on the side of the body for me. And then, shall we drop down to the elbow? Yes, please. Again, don't worry if that knee lifts, but keep this arm at your ear. Gently sit yourself up and let's swing this arm in front, 
shoulder, pull on it, and then let's take that little twist. Now relax the arm down past the leg, free hand put it on the floor behind you and get as much unwind now as you can through that upper body. Come back to centre now, keep the legs in a relaxed cross leg, let's sit forward for a little seated spine stretch in the centre. So, Sort yourself out, yeah? Have a little, get yourself comfy. Take a deep breath in, lift up nice and high. And then breathe it out. Just tip yourself forwards. Bring the elbows in front and just drop down in front of the legs. Head is relaxed, chin is relaxed in. All the body weight sits in front. You're just finding that stretch. Now we're going to start to just develop it a bit and we'll bring the arms a bit further forward. So take a deep breath in and as you breathe out just try and walk the hands and the arms a bit further in front of you so your lower body can, upper body can drop a bit further forward. You might want to straighten the arms all together then bend the arms and drop the elbows to the ground once you've gone as straight as you can and hopefully you've pushed that little bit further forward yeah. And then gently up you come, straighten off your legs and then let your left leg come over, grab hold of it and bring it into a seated glute stretch. So just use the one arm first, find your initial stretch, yeah, you know how it feels. Then bring the other arm to it and squeeze tighter. Can we make it feel a bit more stretchy? Yes, we can. Especially after that little bit of hip and glute section earlier. It's a welcome stretch, even though you were stretching, you still need this, this now, don't you? Yeah, or is it just me? <laughs> All right, so let's change it again now. So other leg, same thing again, just one leg over. Opposite arm, grab it and find your initial stretch, please. Bring it in and we'll oh, find that lovely stretch in the old glute. Okay, relax off now. And I just want you to turn yourself around onto the hands and knees. Yeah. And just from here, yeah, you're just going to drop back into a little child's pose. So walk the hands down in front, head down in between your arms, and just sink as far back and take the arms as far forward as you can for me. Nice big deep breaths in and out, of course. Just relax into your stretch. Sitting yourself up, slide your right leg forward and take your left leg back. Let that left leg go long and keep both hands on your shoulders. The body's in a straight line, we just hold it here. Squeeze that bum and push from the hip. Feel this stretch down in towards your hip. Again, we did a lot of stretching for it earlier, we're just giving it a quick ease off now. We'll double up with the quad, so lift that heel up and then grab it with the opposite hand and then reset back to a square position and hold still. And again, keep pulling that heel and keep pushing from that hip. Relax it, 
Lovely, slide it in. And let's do the same on the left leg, right leg side. So just hands under shoulders, straight line, square the hips, push down into the floor. Lift the leg up, grab hold of it. Both knees under the hips now, hands under shoulders, allow yourself to take a little slouch, and drop the head, and then just arch up to the chin, and relax down, just a couple of cat stretches, releasing through, yeah, you can let your head move now, tuck in, and release. sit down, bring your legs in, sit yourself down and just relax yourself to lean on your back. Nice and easy, yeah. So come on down, bring the feet in, bring one leg in and take it up nice and high to the ceiling. We'll get a hamstring stretch. They've worked hard. Then we can lift the head and shoulders up. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, walk your hands up your leg a couple of times. So you've just pulled that bit further back on it, yeah? Just get that little bit more out of the stretch. And then relax down and bring the same to the other side. Sorry, head down first. So find the hamstring stretch and hold on to it. Deep breath in and then breathe out and then lift up and pull back. Hold the leg for me, nice and straight. Okay, relax it down now, take a full body stretch, point your fingers, point your toes, yeah. And I'm just going to give you a little bit of quiet time. <laughs> so just let the whole body fall heavy into the mat, take some nice deep breaths in and out, and just let any tension in the body just drift away. So you're just relaxing, you're breathing, and you're just comfortable into the floor. Everything, let the feet drop to the side, everything just relaxes. Have a little wiggle of your fingers and toes. Open the eyes. Gently lift your body up. <clears throat> have a little roll through your shoulders, everyone. Lovely. Well done. Hope you're all okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, everyone. Thank you very much. <laughs>